In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to disable TeamViewer on startup. Now, letting certain applications boot up automatically with your system can be quite handy. But sometimes, you might want to manage which ones do so, particularly to enhance your device's performance or for added personal preference. So, today, we'll walk through a straightforward process to do just that with TeamViewer, ensuring it's not running every single time you boot up your computer. To get started, we will need to interact with TeamViewer on two specific devices. The device you want to control, which I'll refer to as the remote device, and the one you're using to connect to it, known as the local device. Firstly, launch the TeamViewer application on both of these devices. Opening the application on both ends has no bearing on the overall process, but helps maintain a clear and consistent user experience. Now that you have TeamViewer open, the next step involves heading into the Settings menu. This is easily found in the interface. Simply look for an Options or Settings icon, which generally pops up somewhere in the corner or under the main menu bar. Once you're in, navigate to the Advanced Settings. This is where you'll find most of the customization options TeamViewer offers, specifically the ones we need to adjust for our purpose today. Inside the Advanced Settings, pay attention to a section labeled General. This area typically houses most popular options that people frequently need to adjust. You should see a checkbox that says Start Team Viewer with Windows. As you can imagine, this option being checked is the core of why Team Viewer launches at startup each time. To disable Team Viewer from starting automatically with your system, pretty simple so far, right? Now, what you'll want to do is uncheck that box. This action tells TeamViewer not to automatically start up whenever you boot your system. By keeping this unchecked, you effectively control when TeamViewer runs, which can also slightly expedite your boot process as fewer programs are starting up simultaneously. Lastly, after you have unchecked that box, you'll need to save these changes. You can do this by clicking on OK or hitting the Save button, whichever your version of TeamViewer presents. Making sure the changes are saved is crucial, as you wouldn't want to go through the steps only to find that TeamViewer still launches automatically because you missed this final save action. And there you have it, folks. With these quick and simple steps, you have now successfully managed to customize the startup behavior of TeamViewer according to your preference. Whether it's to enhance speed, productivity, or just your comfort with device management, it's always nice to have control over what's running on your system. Thank you for tuning in today.